Disclaimer, what you're about to see is a ripoff of Nathaniel Bandy's Triggered series. The idea behind this video originated from his channel, and I would highly recommend his content. I made this video out of my love for his channel and his content. I hope you enjoy. And now, on to the real intro. <clears throat> WARNING! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings, because this game really has the power when it comes to tennis. Get it? I miss when characters would say the company names. This opening cutscene is godlike. It makes me mad that no other tennis game has had an opening this awesome. The word peach on peach dome isn't even. I don't like that. Wario and Waluigi look so stupid when running from the cops. It's really hilarious. Bowser's training area is so unsafe. For one of the things, you get your entire body stretched out, and for another thing, you get chased by a damn chain chomp. You suck, Bowser. Are those monkeys from Super Monkey Ball? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Bowser's balloon eats a frickin' bob bomb Did I mention how ridiculous this opening is? Why is everyone still not wearing proper tennis outfits? You'd think it'd be pretty uncomfortable to play tennis in overalls. Donkey Kong's racket is made out of wood. Won't that break really easily? Why is Bowser Jr. wearing his toothy bib? Sorry, buddy, but you're not looking any more scary than you did before. This is the game where clone characters really started to become a thing. Koopa Paratroopa? Sure, he was in the older games, but he's still a clone. Fly Guy? Why? He's literally just Shy Guy but with a propeller on his head. I don't think you should even be allowed to fly when playing tennis. Why isn't Birdo playable in this game? She's right there. Toad isn't playable either. I mean, I don't really care, but I'm just shocked. Once again, Bowser is the only character who has a cool looking tennis racket. Okay, maybe Bowser Jr., but still, how the hell is Wiggler playable in this game? I don't think he's supposed to even have hands. Petey Piranha? Nope. You know what? I'm done. This is just too weird. How is Shy Guy able to hold on to the tennis racket with those little stubs? And the same can be said for Petey Piranha. How is he able to wrap those leafy arms around his racket? Why did it take this long for Mario Tennis games to have unique courts? The audience is just 2D sprites and not 3D models. Those damn ghosts in the Luigi's Mansion stage are so annoying, especially those that drop bananas. Actually, you know what's worse? The alligators on the Donkey Kong stage. Come on, guys. What did I ever do to you? What the? Why are you vomiting on the court? That's just nasty. It's kind of sad that there's a WarioWare themed court, but you can't play as Wario from WarioWare. Missed opportunity. The gimmick for the Rico Harbor stage is a cool idea, but I feel like it could have been executed a lot better. The Bowser stage is great, but seriously, who plays tennis over lava? Not only that, but on a court that wibbles and wobbles a bunch. There's a stage based on the Mario Bros game? I mean, okay, that's random. Peach's special shot is lame. She just spins around and hits the ball with lots of hearts floating around it. Waluigi can swim through the air like a boss. I honestly hate how much I love this. Whenever Shy Guy does a special move, he turns into this weird tiki thing. What? I'm sorry, but if you set a tennis ball on fire, it would not last long enough to make it through the whole game. That's just how life works. Wait, Wiggler can turn into a butterfly? Then why doesn't he just stay in that form all the time? You think it'd be a lot more useful? I love that there's a lot of Super Mario Sunshine things in this game, but don't you think it's a little too much? Is it possible to have too much Mario Sunshine? Trying to aim your shot for a lot of these minigames can be really annoying. The Gooper Blooper is in this game, and you don't even fight him. You're just rallying the ball and it gets progressively harder. The Kremlins are in this game, but there's no no King K. Rule. That would have been an awesome character to play as. These painting minigames are awesome. I just really wish there were more of them. And the same can be said about the boss battles. They're really fun, but there isn't enough of them. This game teases what's under Shy Guy's mask, and it doesn't show us. That moment when Bowser asks for a kiss and Peach brings in a Birdo has got to be one of the worst ways to be rejected. This game perfectly showcases how thick Wario is. How? He f***ing flattens his trophy when he sits on it. This game is such a dick to Luigi. First, Mario makes fun of him by stepping on his foot like the douchebag brother he is, and then Daisy roller skates in and makes Luigi get all dizzy and fall down, and then Yoshi freaking eats him, and then Koopa Troopa hits him in the face while in his shell, and then Luigi's forced to see whatever monstrosity Shy Guy is, and then Bowser jumps on his head along with everyone else, and then Diddy Kong trips him over which causes Wiggler to get all mad at him, and then in the blooper reel, Mario hits Luigi in the face with a tennis ball which causes him to have a black eye. What is wrong? What's wrong with you people? Luigi doesn't deserve this. He's the nicest Nintendo character out of all of you, and you're going around trading him like sh Oh man, that might have been my most triggering experience so far. 
But if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like and go check out my other trigger videos which I'll leave in the description below. Also, did you know that 85% of you watching this are subscribed to the channel? That kind of makes me sad. So if you thought this video was cool and see a big red subscribe button, make sure to click it so you can see more videos like this in the future. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down in the comments how Mario Power Tennis triggers you. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.